Representative Hargrove, I understand you've been getting a lot of calls and emails from constituents about their car tab increases. I have quite a few of them, and I think a lot of folks didn't realize whether they voted for San Transit 3 or against it, how expensive it was going to be to them personally. And so they're seeing the car tab prices come in way higher than they expected. And to top it off, they're realizing that car tab fees are based not on the actual value of their car, but on the manufacturer's suggested retail price and a depreciation schedule from there which really bothers people. Now there are a couple of bills, one by Senator Rossi and another one by uh, my colleague, uh, Representative Harmsworth, that are meant to address that. I'm fully supportive of those. There is some concern that the courts may have some problems with that and that the Sound Transit has already started to sell bonds to fund the projects based on that current valuation. However, I have also heard that there may be some way around that and I'm looking for solutions to get that addressed. You've had some long days on the House floor over the past couple of weeks. How has that been? Well, they've been long, not just in the hours that we put in there, but uh, in the concentration that they require. We might cover dozens of bills in a single day, and I have to really look at them and understand all the details. There are amendments that happen at the last second, and I have to see if they really change the bill. Also, the bill title might sound just great, but it may not really be the best solution. And, and it's easy to start thinking politically. If a bill says it's to help veterans and I don't think it's the best bill, I can be thinking, how's this gonna look if I'm voting against a bill that's taking care of veterans? So I have to really just to stick to my principles and make sure that I really am voting on a bill that is best for my constituents. House Bill 1215, your Innovation Schools Bill, recently had a hearing. How did that go? It actually went pretty well. The hearing happened after cutoff, so it cannot be passed into law this year. But it was a chance to get the bill aired, get the discussion started so that possibly it can happen next year. Most of the testimony was great. There were some kids there from an innovation school that really sold how important innovation schools are. I was really encouraged by that. The chair had some concerns that the bill is not necessary because Obviously, an innovation type school already exists, but I thought the end of the testimony from the public that came showed that you might be able to create an innovation school if you really, really work hard, but what my bill does is it creates a path. It embraces innovation. It would make it much easier to get these great, great schools in our public school system. Last week, a Sikh man was shot in his driveway while working on his car in Kent. Do you have anything to say to Kent residents and the community members of the 47th District? Of course. In my other job as a Boeing instructor pilot, I spend time with people around the world, various faiths, cultures, races, and I realize just people are people. And it, it makes me particularly sad when I see one of our neighbors a victim of a crime like this. It's just senseless and it can't be tolerated in our community. I'm going to do all I can to bring our community together. So I'm going to attend the Community Unity Rally at Kent Lutheran Church from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock on Saturdays. So I encourage people to come out so we can just come together as a community and unite.